Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Andor Watch Along Extravaganza, Stephen. Hello, it's hello. the Axe Forgets. The Axe Forgets, is that right? Yeah, the Axe Forgets, yeah. Because my eyesight not quite as good as yours, sadly. Although I can read that, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Stephen, really enjoyed episode four, as I just says, but a minute ago. Mm. That's how quickly we're doing this one. <laughs> uh, really enjoying the evolution of this story. The flipping of perspectives to... So I'm on Mothma to the Empire, yeah. to Cassian, to the, the trust issues in this sort of newly yeah, formed yeah. group. Looking forward to this op- special operation, to quote Vladimir Putin. Hopefully their special operation into the Imperial Garrison yeah. is more fucking successful than Vladimir Putin's special operation in Ukraine, because he's not doing very fucking well, let's be honest, until he drops a nuke. In which case, we're all fucked. Yeah. Uh, but that's a, a whole other story, Stephen. Hopefully we get to see this story playing out before then. <laughs> Stephen, look, I'm looking forward to this episode. I've not got much more to say. I don't know if uh, you have. Cassie and Andor, John, um, for the first four episodes, we've seen this a sort of mercenary, a ruthless mercenary at times as well. Now, hopefully we're going to get to see how well he does working in a team, doing a mission and hopefully completing that mission successfully. Yes. I know he lives, but... Completing the mission successfully is boy who what lives. I want to see. Which is ironic because uh, I'm seeing the boy who lives. There's a lot of Harry Potter stuff going on in here, a lot of connections. Yeah. It's only one, really, so Game far. Game of Thrones as well, yeah. Yeah. Here we go, Steve. Press yeah. play right into it. Stephen, you were having a conversation before we got to this point yeah. during the title stuff, the recap, and you believe this character could potentially flip. It's a possibility, isn't it? I mean, he looks really down. He looks broken. Yeah. Maybe he realises the system is corrupt. She's tiny. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Fuck me. He's sitting down and still tall, aren't he? Wow, blue milk. Uh, Cereal. It's a bit weird. Green and brown cereal with blue milk. You might as well wear a sign that says, I promise to disappoint you. You would only disappoint you. you You're my guest. Well, you could have come any time you wanted. Any civilised being knows an open invitation is... The no sound design for that there was fucking sublime. There would have been someone <laughs> popping something into a bucket. <laughs> and they fucking <laughs> nailed that. I've never had I Lenore with my cereal I before. To be honest with you. I'm just waiting you on him taking a mouth. No Fabric softener and cereal is not a good combo. Perhaps you've forgotten my question. Do you have even a single prospect before you? We'll find a way. I'm calling Uncle Harlow. I'm calling in the family favor. I haven't heard that in a while. Someone who'll take you on, Cyril. Saying the Cyril? Why are we? Okay. What's his name? Cyril? Cyril. Cyril. <laughs> Fucking hell. Name fits him perfectly. Yeah. That's better than Clem. Yeah, Clem, to be fair. <laughs> he didn't pick that. He didn't ask to have that shite or foisted on him. Yeah, we before him. It's all there. Bill asked me to have a look. I think she's having second thoughts. In good shape, that guy. Yeah. <coughs> Had a lean. You didn't come with much. That plus the bad arms, pretty clear you left wherever you were in a hurry. There's no sense being upset. You're lucky to be alive right now. We've been down here for months, and the stakes are high. And, uh, who, whose is this? Didn't get a name. <laughs> yeah, I saw your eyes go right to it. Great head. See, they don't know. I got no idea. So where were you? Sipo. Youth center. Three years, I was 13 when I went in. They built a lot of cages, huh? The axe forgets, but the tree remembers. Mm-hmm. Now it's our turn to do the chopping. The axe, yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's why you're here. Revenge. Yeah, that's good enough for now. You? I'm just looking at this guy's fucking clavicle, I think it's what you call it's it. The bones in the shoulder. Yeah, but you won't say by who. Working with other people is never easy. I didn't mark you for a team player. He's not. <laughs> it always breaks at the weakest point. Are well, you worried about the kids? And that makes a surprise. He's green, but he's all in. He's this is how we will learn how to work as a team, though. This is yeah. what I like about this. And there's Cinta. 
because up to now he has been quite a loner and a mercenary and doing his own thing. Probably the toughest one here. It's about finding an ideology as well. Yeah. She's already sharing a blanket if that's what you She's mean. obviously hatred for the Empire, but it needs to be centred. Without him there's no plan. He could be walking us right into a trap. They would have taken us down by now. Well, maybe that's what you're here for. Maybe that's what you're here for. I'm here to win and walk away. Wouldn't that be lovely? Well, we know he is. We don't know about you. Yeah. You could be fucked. You weren't in Rogue One. We don't know you. You've got no business being My here. My friend doesn't like you. I don't right. like you either. You just watch yourself. Loris. Yes. You'll be dead. You know his name? Is the leader ready? The driver's here. She knows the name. He doesn't. He doesn't care. He's a driver. Leader. It's very parasite, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he did know the driver's Did name. you eat? Yeah. Never would that have happened. Just came down. We'll take something for the ride. Fucking yeah. hell, cultural yeah. appropriation off Wait, the charts here. I'm surprised plan. Kathleen Dad's has green like this. You're taking me, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. I don't have early class today. We planned this. I think if it you paints did. the empire in a bad light, Get your coat. It's, not it's okay. Discussion. Are you serious? Am I serious? Just go, you're off the hook. Imagine wallpaper in that room. I don't know, a bit of bastard. Imagine painting that fucking room. Get your coat. Take your year. It's out of your way anyway, so what's the point? The point is, we have a schedule. The driver's waiting. I've planned it. A schedule? Yes. You're only doing it to show off. Well done. Good. Said the right way. Fuck that American shit. It's not schedule, it's schedule. But you're involved Get to fuck. somehow. Well, that's just... Nobody cares. You can relax. That's just so hurtful. <laughs> it's all about you, isn't it? It's always all about you. Is this really how you'd like to start the day? I didn't choose this conversation. Get your skill. That was spoilt bastard though. Yeah. Not at all aware of the harsh reality of life. That's trousers. Tree milk. Donald, where's your trousers? <laughs> Did you say tree milk? Yeah. Fucking tree milk. Well, we've got plant-based yeah, milk now, it. haven't we? And fucking almond milk and oat milk. That's all that tree hugging that's got the milk out of it. Yeah. Bark. It's barking. True and sturdy. Bark ass. Once you've mastered it, you're free. We've grown reliant on Imperial tech and we've made ourselves vulnerable. Brushing his hair forward to cover his hairline, yeah, that guy. Yeah, I was about to say that. What the fuck is that about? So is he right enough? That makes his oppression everywhere. Skeen pretends not to listen, but I know the message is sinking in. <laughs> He's writing a manifesto. Did he tell you? I can't unsee that now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, it's so confusing, isn't it? So much going wrong, so much to say, and all of it happening so quickly. He puts me in mind that, that wee mouse character in the Matrix. That is the yeah. real trick of the Imperial thought machine. It's easier to hide Who's behind like Boy to shut her? <laughs> in a single incident. But they have a fight on their hands, don't they? Uh, I'd like to hear what Clum believes. No, he's definitely like Chris Martin. He's just got short, wispy hair and he's keeping it short. I don't think he's doing anything. Everything up. Busy day, Clem. Finish your milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's finished. You don't trust him. I barely trust you. Mm. Obviously, it's a track launch, so there's an adjusted thrust ratio to They're make Building a lot of models, don't they? Yeah, they do. Get that belt to do with the fucking thing. Yeah. Tree hugging. Milking them. What about it? How would you do it? How they're, would I know the way? I look like a fucking engineer. You don't know how to get it off the runway, do you? We know how to fly it. Yeah, but you gotta get it up there first. Answer the question. You don't know how to get it out of there. How do you input the weight? <sighs> you sure it's on the rail? Yes. It's mounted. It's ready to go. That's how they keep it. You're sure of that? Yes, we're sure. There's a load clutch. It's a big ugly handle just right next to the booster throttle. Why isn't this in the manual? Because it's a custom job. It's it's an add-on. What were you gonna do if I wasn't here? Never fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you're glad you've got claimed now, eh? Okay, I'll pilot. No, you'll do as you're told. No, he will I'm pilot. Fine. We can say it's your idea. I don't care, but if it's my ass on the line, I'm pulling this thing out of there. Yeah, fucking claim to pilot it. All right. Okay. Claims a man. We need a TV series for a claim, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> this guy's come in and he's just like, bitches, I'm the fucking boss here. I've got the little gangster meme with the glasses come down. He puts me in mind of your man from, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Indian actor. 
Hij weer kampeert in El Pacino. Ja, yeah, nou we zitten zitten hier. Ja, dat is mijn idee. Nou we zitten ze man. The garrison HQ in the barracks up top by the east end. The Rono Tunnel. Mijn is de daft shots. Flight control tower. We could be doing here now we zitten. Yeah. Stay with shot on this. Jazz it up a bit. Imagine him in Star Wars. The oh, fuck, I think he could do it, no problem. Yeah, I bet. Not that guy can do. Downhill pitch. And down there, we will be coming from the old temple. I want to, I want to know where this is shot. It's definitely Scotland, doesn't it? CG. That's not real. That thing. That damn. Yeah. What's this? I think it, it may be Scotland. It's a dartboard, sir. Target practice. Where are they? I believe they're in the tower, sir. Commandant's wife needed help moving furniture for the dinner. I'll be back in an hour. This had better be well on its way, or I promise you, I'll be revisiting the schedule for winter furloughs. You are Imperial Private Clem. You're a sentry from the Alcantara <laughs> Air Base transferred for special duty. Imperial fucking Pilot Clem. More. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you want something, you tell me. Can you walk like a soldier? Certainly can in Rogue One. We talk about coats. <laughs> Bit of yeah. a flasher's vibe off it though. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Columbo. <laughs> That's impressive by the way. That's like fucking Gaudi. Barcelona. I know it doesn't come with extra pay. Just get this up and running before my next staff meeting. Just need some skills. You like a good skill. Tony O'Dowdy, I think that's what his name was. This just looks like that other planet there. Yeah. The one we've we been on. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> God, that guy in the fucking back, the young guy. You should switch. What? He's left-handed. Why don't you get a handle on what we're doing here before you start making suggestions? Skin is left-handed. You want your weapon on the outside. Yep. What am I? Right-handed. Taramin? Right. Center? Right. Nemec? Favors right, but shoots left. He's very perceptive. Yep. Fine. <laughs> Raging. Let's switch. <laughs> they brought this guy in and he's just running the fucking show now. <laughs> oh. Wait! TIE fighters. Yeah. Oh shit. You can tell the sound of them right away. Before you hear them before you see them. I don't believe they've not seen them. It's gone. These guys will be so. fucking. It's like that um, Jackie Stewart quote. You can smell the cut grass, the freshly cut grass. These guys find these things with me on it. That was a good shot, man. They'll soon see. A surprise from above is never as shocking as one from below. <laughs> You're right, pal. <laughs> Enjoying the view? Yes, what sir. a tash. Yeah. Gets a bit staying in there sometimes. It's always inspiring, isn't it? Listen to that I score. Suppose. Yeah, it's great. It's always those it's low notes they play when it's yeah. the Empire, isn't it? Move the airbase here. It makes sense. It's a big project. Not too many Darnies to worry about anymore, though, eh? How many do you think we'll have tomorrow? It's less than a hundred last time. Still enough to smell him, right? He's like Sam Claflin. Imagine this place with a couple of thousand of them. Yes. I can. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just moving your stuff. Don't. It was in the way. Don't ever. I thought you were checking the comms. Hey. And you can dress yourself. Who packed these charges? That would be me. I can fit three more in here. I thought it was him. I thought it was a boy pulling it out there. Let's have a look at you. Make a soldier of you yet. Which is quite prophetic because he does become a soldier. Yeah. Really? What did I miss while I was gone? The thing they conference. <laughs> She's got a real grudge with this guy. Yeah, she has. When Wasn't people are successful, own? others who are less successful tend to... Yeah, hold a grudge. Soldiers. You see that over Maybe here? Yeah. The press try to bring them down. I wouldn't trust anything coming out of there. 
The Imperial Navy is the only account they have left at this point, and they never admit anything's wrong. You're onto something. Kessel, Fondor, targeting consoles from Jakku, proton warheads from Base K, the Steer Guard Star Park. Jakku. Right, Jakku. I know this. Is this linked to this operation? If I was them. This is how I do it. I'd spread it out. Never climb the same fence twice. It's too random to be random. She just reeks of an, an absolute nut bar. She does, yeah. Mm. You know, I'm beginning to worry that we are not going to see this operation happen in this episode. Yeah. They're going to stave it off to the next one. They're really stretching it out, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I think it's so we can attach ourselves to, to these characters group, yeah. so when they do die it'll be quite emotional <laughs> <laughs> said no one ever I think that's what they're trying to do but it's just not happening is it I couldn't give a fuck about these people <laughs> <laughs> as long as Cassian's alright we know he is <laughs> we know he is uh, the rest are all cannon fodder <laughs> lemmings the rebellion If I was to pick one character I'd want to survive. Probably a young fella, he's quite likeable to be fair. I reckon the actual guy who's infiltrated the Empire himself, he's had to put up with all the obnoxious yeah. pish. And he rocks a fucking and, and, coat. And the risk factor as well he's taking. Yeah. Is that a Highland cow? Yeah. I need to tell you how wrong you were about Uncle Harlow. God, get them the fucking eight, you weirdo. He'll be soggy. You never felt police work was your chosen path. Because he knows me so well. And who's He fault? does. Can I guess? What field is it he thinks I should be pursuing? He said he wanted to think about it. That it was a large enough mistake to be deeply educational. Yes, I heard some of that. Our conversation. Your side of it. Hard to miss. <laughs> Sadly, I wasn't able to study Uncle Harlow's response. He knows how much we're counting on it. He's such a dweeb. <laughs> oh my god, he's just fucking at this, insufferable. At this moment, I don't see the point of this. No, I... At all, I'm sure it'll all fall into place. He fell in love with a local woman and lost a promotion. Then he lost the woman. Then he lost his taste for the Empire. It's a good shot. It's almost yeah. Peter Jackson-esque. It is, yeah. Stellan's <laughs> not been in this one yet, has he? He's not, no. As you were. I mean, I never realised the Empire had such a, a longing for moustaches. For that. I mean, a it's almost like the Andes and, now, and uh, Hot Fuzz. I see the gantry still unpainted. Yeah. Sir. May I speak plainly, sir? Plainly and quickly. Aldani, sir. It's not many people's first choice assignment. The thing you hear when posted to Aldani is that perhaps you'll be lucky enough to be there for the eye. The idea of being this close and not seeing it. But I fear morale might be crushed by having anything more than an essential roster down here tomorrow night. I want it painted the day after tomorrow. I'll be here midday and I expect to see it shine. Absolutely, sir. sir. Make sure the men know how close they've come. I yeah, don't want any excuses. Yeah. Take him away. <clears throat> we shall redouble our efforts. <laughs> redouble our efforts. Your emperor does not share your... Opt lack of a oh, lack of I thought it was optimism. Oh you're oh, yep, yep. Don't move. Cause you know what'll happen. Hey, what are you doing? There we go. It's like what I do, yeah? I knew you were lying. I knew it. Look. What is it? Kyber. I'm a Sky fucking Kyber. Jedi. He's been hiding it. Skeen? Sky Kyber, look at it glow. What's going on? I warned you. He comes here with nothing. But the clothes on his back and a stone worth 30,000 credits? You have a problem, come to me. Here I mm -hmm. am. He won't say why he's here, where he's from. He doesn't say what he believes in. And now this? Who brings a treasure to a robbery? We don't have time for that. You know exactly who I am. And you know I'll kill you for it. Okay. Let's not go too far, Clem. I just want what's mine. Yeah, don't put me on the spot. Enough! Everyone stands down. Everyone! Put the weapon away. Give him the stone. You can kill each other later. Yeah, there's only one right person surviving that. This guy's a dick. Yes. Hold yourself whatever you want. I think we're okay. 
A shit, Chris Martin. <laughs> Chris Martin we'll without the songwriting through. prowess. We'll talk oh. when we're safe. I mean, Chris Martin's a shit, Chris Martin, though. Paid to be here. You need to know? That's it. What? Yeah. I'm here for the money. Yeah, why not? You can't live with that? I'm not worth it? I'll walk away and wish you luck. But that's what it is. I don't want to walk in. It's a job. Looking over my shoulder. The choice was take him or call it off. Call it off? You should have told us days ago. It just would have been something else. What's that mean? The day before is always hard. Too much time to worry. You think we're scared? I know you are. Maybe you're the one that's afraid. Of course I'm afraid. But there's a difference between fear and losing your nerve. You want out of this. Make a choice. Don't use me as an excuse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's such a great actor. Yes. Let's get to the camp in one piece. You can all chew on it there. All of you. I think a young fella's a bit disappointed. Yeah. He's idealistic. I think he's going to die. Where are you taking them? To Coruscant. You saw me talking to Garth and for you. Mm, you're busy tonight. He knows more about what you're up to than I do. That's the embarrassing. It's because you have no interest. When were you planning to tell me about this new foundation? Didn't think so this is roughly about it. five years after the events of Obi-Wan. Can obey the series, isn't it? Yeah. What I love about this, Stephen, is it's the sort of blending of the prequel era with the original oh, trilogy it's... era. Yeah, that was and something. There was always that missing, issue yeah. about it being very clean. Sure. Yeah. It was explained as look, the there's levels of living sure. in this yep. galaxy. And the movies, it wasn't explained, though, was it? Yeah. Very black and white. I mean, we, we viewed the galaxy in the original trilogy from the re the Rebel Alliance, who had nothing. Yep. And then a military organisation that was very minimalistic. Yeah. Whereas, obviously, in the prequels, it was a fucking royal palace. <laughs> this is Emmett the Dam. Looks just like your model. Should do. I've had plenty of time to study. And we've been sneaking up here for months. We need to signal soon. Let's get a fire up. Let's go. That must be very hard to light, you know, for filming purposes. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere where there's no light. <laughs> I mean, I spoke about that before, Stephen, the, yeah. the witch, I think yeah. it was. Cinematographer speaking about how much of a skill it is to naturally light. Oh, this guy's got an obsession. He kind of went back to that look, <laughs> which he probably shouldn't have done, because that's the, the sort of wanted image, isn't it? <laughs> it's t they're going to end this. Yeah, right I know, now, just before, yeah. it's fucking annoying. <laughs> Should do it. She wants me to tell you about my brother. There's a long version, but what matters is they killed him. He was a farmer. Imperial prefect came in, took his land, flooded it. You couldn't fight him. I always hated the Empire. I don't really know what to call how I feel now. Even more hatred? Kind of farm. Trees, pepper trees, centuries of them. Centuries of them? That's as close to an apology as you're gonna get. It's close enough. Taramin's in charge now. I need to know you understand that. Where will you be? If all goes well, we'll see you tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. I need to hear you tell me you can follow the plan. You won't have a problem with me. You need to remember he wants to get out to get his money. Yeah. No farewells tonight. Plenty of work to do together tomorrow. Mm. I think the purpose of this being drawn out, John, is it's it's for it's for Cassie and really to understand the dynamic of working in a team. Yeah, and, and building these relationships. It's the sense of loss as well. Well yeah. he's already got that I suppose with his own people. But But it's to maybe Expose him to the abhorrence of the Empire as an adult. That's almost like Padme's place. Yeah. Yeah. Little things, wasn't it's it? Just going. You said that an hour ago. Am I keeping you up? There's nothing coming through tonight. You want to be useful? Go clean some coins. There's nothing else you can do, Luthen. 
They're either going to be okay. Well, listen, I'll try and remember that. That's a daring prediction. Bell's the only one who traces back. No. The thief, Andor. I wasn't careful. It's never going to be perfect. I wanted it too much. It'll all be over this time tomorrow. Mm hmm. Or we'll just be starting. Yeah, that's the thing. This is just the Got beginning. Mm-hmm. It's a great show. Yeah. And like that, they Just have done his dirty. Yeah, we knew that though, didn't we? Yeah. We're not getting to see the yeah. operation. That'll come in episode six. But that was an enjoyable episode, Stephen, to be fair. Yeah. I did. I liked yeah. the, the sort of character building. Yeah, the dynamics between each character, specifically in obviously the the Highlands. Yes. <laughs> the Highlands of Scotland. Yeah. Um, Scotland. I think, John, um, it's, it's just. It's just what we've got to get used to uh, in a TV series. It's not going to be all guns blazing and the pace and being frantic yeah. like we do in the films. But I don't mind that because we've talked about this in the previous episode. It's all about building a back history for Andor, uh, Cassie and Andor. And it's something that was quite a mysterious character in Rogue One. And we're getting to see all the different sides of him. His sort of mercenary side, his lack of team playing at this point. He's admitted, you know, he is a mercenary. He's in it for the money now. That young fella seems quite disappointed. I think he's quite in quite in awe of Cassie and Ander at this point, or Clem is the Clem, yes. That'd be an interesting logo to do, wouldn't it? Clem. Clem. Yeah, but I don't think anyone will get it. But no, I'm liking it, John. I'm liking the pacing, but I think we're getting to that sort of happy hump day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're getting to the point where things are about to kick off now. Yeah, and I think this is yeah. going to be the sort of... I try to think of a, a sort of similarity here. My mind is immediately when they were waving the torch yeah. to the dam, to your man who's infiltrated the Empire, my mind was immediately cast back to the return of the king, yeah, Lord yeah. of the Rings, yep. when Gondor sends out its call, its plea for assistance yeah. to Rohan. That's kind of where my you mind see all the pyres. You see all the pyres yeah, lighting up. That's fantastic. That. I love that's that. where my mind went to. Yeah. This is almost like that moment, the calm before the storm. And then we're going to have it all kick off. And then obviously, on a, a, a larger scale, it's the calm before the yeah. buff of a rebellion, if you'd I mean, like. There's some characters in there in sequences I'm not really getting at the moment. That sort of policeman <laughs> uh, going back to, yeah. I think that's his mother. I'm not really sure who she is, but... Doesn't sound I like they're related, I think, but I think he's just going to be a fawn on the side of Andor. Yeah, he's obviously he's not. Grudge. I think that's why we got that sequence. Could with he him be a at the sort hologram. of spoiler, though, Stephen, in this operation? Could he maybe send Link up with that Empire? Yeah, woman who's popped the pills. Like, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe yeah. give away the identity. Then he's, I don't know, man. Maybe they see him when he gets in in the uniform, and that causes issues. I don't know. One yeah. way or the other, I do believe this operation will be a success. Of course, it will. Because the rebellion does happen, and there has to be a start, a kindling. Is it? And I think it'll be this moment. Something to ignite the flame. Yes. Can't okay. remember the space from most guys. Yes. I can push. It was, it was, it was rubbish. <laughs> Is that what you thought of as soon as I said that? Yeah. 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 yeah the fucking... little spark, the. Oh, oh yeah, it's dreadful. Nothing, I mean, I felt sorry for Oscar. A really <laughs> brilliant actor. <laughs> and he's lumbered with this shit. I bet he just wished. A spark that will light the fire. <laughs> It's far away the fire. At least, I mean, it is very yeah. George, isn't yeah. it? To be fair, it's the type of dialogue he would have put out in the prequels. And your little sycophantic producer who wasn't fucking Gary Cuts. <laughs> no, he wasn't the sycophantic one. No, he the, was the, the other guy, yeah. though, the guy from the prequels, yeah. it wasn't him. Yeah. yeah. Who just went along with everything and says, yeah. Yes, that's great, George. Yeah, dude. More of that. Awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. Let's have more of that, George. Yeah. That's how the prequels dialogue, anyway, went the way it went. But yeah, man, look, I'm looking forward to seeing this operation yeah. take place. This assault on this garrison, this dam, where it all goes. I'm looking forward to seeing this fucking event, the eye or whatever they call it, with the meteor shiver. Yeah. I want to see that happening. The better fucking review. Yeah, that's where all the budgets went. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but just really, again, just enjoying it. It's slower paced, that episode, compared yeah. to four, but that's fine. Uh, we're up and we're down, uh, as we should be. And Steve, mm. you, I think you nailed it. Ultimately, this is about Andor having experiences that are going to shape them into the individual we see yeah. in Rogue One. Yep. 
And if and there's going to be deaths. I'm I see similarities to Han Solo in this character as well. Yeah. You know, the the more he's got attachment to other humans, the more humanized it becomes. If that, yeah. if that makes any sense, you know, Han Solo was the mercenary who was out for the the, the reward and and you, the, the reward. I'm from Dundee. Um, <laughs> Mr. Stuart Armstrong. Um, the from, reward. You know, I think. Um, I think it oh, seems to be a, a quite similar path that Cassie Nando's taken here, the development and having that sort of humanising of the character over, you know, the arc. But I think it's, I think they're doing it well. I think they're doing it very realistically and organically as well. And we're showcasing yeah. Diego's acting talent. Oh, he's fantastic, John. He stands out. You see when him and Stellan are going head to head, it just elevates the, the whole show, you know. To be fair, I think the acting's went up. Yeah. In the last oh two yeah, episodes. yeah, yeah. Definitely. These group of sort of British actors, much better than shit Scottish guy who tumbled down the stairs. <laughs> His death was perfect. He went out like a chump. Yeah. Tried to save the day and took a bullet or a, a sort of plasmic shot straight to the chest and tumbled down like a tubby lardass. Yeah. Never to be seen it. Well, they, they did. Sh- they showed him again. They lingered on his sh- dead body. I don't fucking care. Yeah. This fucking guy, I never did. Nanoines. <laughs> Both to my ears, to my eyes, and to the story. Get them to fuck. These characters are much better. So I think they've upped the budget in terms of the actors they could afford for the last two episodes. They started poor, and they've built and built and built. Winona Ryder uh, was all right. Cheap Winona Ryder. She was okay, <laughs> I suppose. I forgot about her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes anyway. This isn't even the midway point, Stephen. Uh, it's got 12 episodes. Yeah, we're only a quarter way through the buff, actual buff. entirety yeah. of entirety, entirety of the, of the <laughs> entire Cassie yeah. Nando show, and it's full splendor. Yeah, uh, twenty-four episodes. Yeah, we are uh, uh, a quarter six twelve. No, uh, we're not even a quarter yet. We'll be Many a episodes after. is there? Twenty-four. Or is this only five? I thought it was only five. Six. Five oh. through, so we're not yeah. even a quarter through yet. That's still to come. But man, that's going to round it up. When you start gibbering about how many episodes you're through. And you start speaking like Stuart Armstrong. Yes. Uh, and you should know who Stuart is. Uh, you should search him up if you don't. You will see the finest haircut in all the land. Uh, truly, all his of hair the lands. Is, his hair is fine. He scores belters all the time. That's why he was singing this song for Stuart Armstrong. But look, man, that's going round it up. <laughs> he was a magnificent player. He still is a magnificent player. What's your thoughts on the, the Axe Forgets? I still don't really know. What that means in context of that, the axe forgets. Was there an axe in this? There was an axe in it. Was there? Yeah, uh, your man Chris Martin says it. Right. Yeah, he was talking about an axe. Yeah, but he was talking about an axe, yeah. About. Something about the axe, yeah. something tree. Yeah. That's what it is. Century of trees, yeah. Yeah, century of trees. <laughs> We're doing Roman shit here, a yeah. centurion. Don't really sp- you say hundreds of trees. Yeah. You have to say a cen- centuries of trees. That's As we say, hunters. Hunters? Yeah. Hunters are trees. Aye, uh, but let's go around right up, man. What's your thoughts on it? What's your thoughts on the show up to this point? On our reaction, anything you feel compelled to share can be popped down below in the comment section. That's certainly the place to put it. You can also like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications straight to the eyes eyeballs. All that leaves me to say is until the next time. Thank you for watching and until the next time. <laughs> bye bye.